Well, tomorrow night is President Obama's second State of the Union address, and in attendance this year will be our own representative, David Cicilline. He's also invited a local award-winning teacher, Dale Blaze, to be his guest. And they're both joining us on set this morning to talk about uh, what's to come when they attend the event in D.C. tomorrow. So thank you so much, Congressman, for joining us thank today. Thank you for having us. And congratulations, because we haven't seen you. Thank you very since much. Since you uh, got promoted. <laughs> I say, first of all, why did you choose Dale to be your guest? Well, uh, I chose Dale because she was uh, recognized uh, nationally for being one of America's best teachers yeah. at the Milken Award, which is very prestigious. Uh, award for excellent teachers and really to underscore how important education is that you know as we are struggling with a lot of budget challenges at the national level that we need to understand that investing in education is investing in our future mm -hmm. and the key to that is an excellent teacher which Dale is and it gives us an opportunity we're going to go visit after this State of the Union to her school oh, and talk to the young people about what the State of the Union is yeah. have some materials about the history of it so use it as a teaching moment okay so what are you expecting then the president will be focusing on in the State of the Union address tomorrow? I think the President is going to focus on the economy and job creation mm -hmm. and doing everything we can to get people back to work, to understanding that we've got to make the right investments in the short term in infrastructure and in education and in innovation so that we can rebuild the economy and get people working again. And now, Dale, uh, first of all, I want to ask you, did you ever expect that you'd be attending this tomorrow? No, not my wildest dreams. <laughs> and when you got the invitation from the Congressman, what were your thoughts? I was just very, I was in shock. I'm yeah. still, I think, I th I'm still in shock. <laughs> Are you excited at the thought of maybe being on TV for like a millisecond tomorrow night in the audience somewhere? Well, I'm on now. <laughs> well, you are. You are. This is even more important. National <laughs> audience tomorrow. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, the Milken uh, Family Foundation Award. What exactly does it mean to you to have received it? It's a very high honor for them to have recognized what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. And it, the whole thing has, has just felt surreal, and it continues to feel surreal. Yeah. And um, when did you find out you, you actually received it? Was it That was recently? back in November. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And your family must be so proud, too. It's exciting. Yes. My husband's very proud. Oh, good. <laughs> Kids, too. Okay. What are you hoping to hear the president say tomorrow night? Well, I'm anxious to hear what he has to say for education. As a teacher, you know, it's very important for me yeah. what his plans are for education. Well, I'm sure over the last few years it's been frustrating as an educator with cuts and cuts and cuts. I'm sure you're hoping to see things kind of turn around in the right direction in that it, way. It would be nice. Yeah. 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 All right. So you're heading out tomorrow. Yes. We hope and to don't hear. forget, I mean, yep. Rhode Island was one of the uh, winners in our race to the top competition. Right. So this is, you know, this president has made education a really important priority with a real investment. And, you know, I think particularly pre-K and early childhood mm -hmm. education is such an important part of that. So Yeah. Well, listen, both of you, congratulations. Thank Enjoy you. tomorrow thank night. We look forward to hearing how your trip went. And uh, I want to thank you for joining us on the show. We hope you have a great trip to Washington. And